Hi guys, uh, today I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and give you some pointers about using the Blue Yeti microphone. Some of you have these. Uh, I would recommend that if you're in an area that has several people doing demos, that you try to get at least one of these and have them in your group and share them as needed. We have three of them here in Provo that I lend out to people that need them here in the building when they're doing a demo. They're a great microphone. They're very inexpensive. A Blue Yeti microphone goes for about $99 US plus shipping. They come in a couple of different colors and there are no difference really in the microphone between the black one and the silver one. A couple of things I've uh, noticed as people have turned in videos using, even using the Blue Yeti microphones is that sometimes they don't have their settings done quite right. And so I'm just gonna give you a couple of quick pointers. Um, if you look at this up close on the back side of the Yeti microphone, um, I would adjust the gain so that it's about at that, just a little bit past the halfway point on the gain. I would also have my microphone setting. You notice that there are four settings here. The first one here, is the stereo setting and so if you talk to the right side of the mic you're going to hear it on the right speaker and if you talk to the left side of the mic you're going to hear it on your left speaker etc you also have the omnidirectional setting which basically means that you're recording in a room where people are talking all around and you want to be able to pick it up as good as possible in that environment you could set it to that but for if you're giving a demo if you're doing a podcast or you're doing a demo and you're all alone, the best setting is the third one over, which is the cardioid setting. Set it to that and leave it. Also, on the front of the microphone, you want to have your volume set a little bit past halfway and make sure that the mute button is not pushed and flashing. If it's a solid red, that's, that's what you want. Now, the other mistake that I've seen when people have used the Yeti microphone is that they talk to the back of the microphone. They have it set to the cardioid setting, but they're actually talking to the back of the microphone, and the pickup is on this side. So when you're using the cardioid setting, make sure that you are talking to the logo. So the blue logo should be facing you. Now the pickup is not in the top of the microphone. The pickup is in this area. So rather than having it turn down like this to talk into the top of the microphone, you want to keep it more vertical like this so that you're talking into the microphone that's here. If you have a windscreen like this that I think comes with the Yeti, use it. Make sure that as you're giving your demo, the microphone is the one that your computer is using. So that's another mistake I've seen is that they've had the Yeti connected, but didn't make sure that the computer was using the Yeti as the microphone. It was using the built-in microphone on the computer. Also, make sure that the microphone is fairly close. Uh, it's gonna sound really good if you're giving a demo and you're doing a demo where we're just seeing the screen, keep that microphone within two to three or four inches from your mouth. And with your windscreen, that's going to sound very rich and very full and very good. You can always do a couple of tests and listen to it and make sure it sounds good, that there's no, no background hums or hisses or d disturbing sounds. Make sure it's very clean and then record your demo or whatever using Camtasia or whatever tools you happen to be using to do those demos. Testing one, two, three. This is the Yeti microphone in the cardioid setting with my mouth about three inches away from the microphone while I'm giving this demo. So again, if you haven't got a Yeti, try to find someone that does and use it. This is going to make your demos and podcasts and webinars and things sound a lot better. And that's just a couple of the pointers and uh, Hope they were helpful and thank you very much.